Hello, you're watching weekly economic calendar from Insta TV team. The first half of the week is marked by a series of new macroeconomic releases. Let us give them a brief review. Today, the new reading of the Eurozone Economy Confidence Index is on tap. In July, it's seen at 88.9 points. In June, the index was equal to 89.9 points, which was the lowest reading since late 2009. European top managers are quite pessimistic about new goods orders in future. After Spain's authorities formally asked to back the recapitalization of national banks, the banking and finance sectors of the currency bloc appeared to be in the eye of the storm. Going forward, Canada's government will bring to public new data on the GDP growth rate for May. The national GDP is expected to have gained 0.2% in comparison with April, when it rose by 0.3% months on months and by 2% here and year. In April, Canada's GDP grew on upturn in mining, oil and gas production and oil sale. There was an increase in the output in transportation, agriculture and forestry, as well as in fishing and hunting. On the other hand, retail sales, industrial production, food manufacturing, public and private sectors demonstrated decline. In addition, the U.S. ADP will announce latest changes in the number of employed Americans. In July, the indicator is projected to climb up by 122,000, less than 176,000 registered in the previous months. The June reading of the indicator was well above the forecast of 100,000. However, in May, the number of employed U.S. citizens rose even more by 136,000. The ADP experts support that U.S. employment has been rather stable, even though it's not at its mid-winter heights. It was Economic Calendar prepared to you by InstaTV team. See you soon!